things on the agenda, you know, over and over. And then sometimes there's just no update, no update. And then this one has a lot of updates, the no update, no update, lots of updates, right? Um, so yes, if there's no action that has to be taken, and there could be a moment for pause, moment for staff to do our directive. You give us a directive, like for example, last month was about union silos, you know, we're going this direction and we need some more directive and understanding about possibilities, then that's the action that is given to me as staff. And then I go back to the and continue that work. Does yeah, that make sense? And that was what I wanted to get to. If we can, if we have more questions or do an answer. Angela, that's what her role is. She's the administrator, she can go to city council, she can, you know what she does. She talks to everyone in the city and gets us answers. So there's no need to like constantly mull over this topic and then you can just say, Angela, do this. Or, and if there's a what if kind of situation, because I think that as creative people, that tends to be the case, is we have this project that we're working on, and there's all these other potential items and actions that could happen to it, we could sit here until we're blue in the face talking about what ifs, right? But instead, if we can try as a group to narrow those down to the directive of what we would like to see, or even just to go home and spend some time with it, come up with your own questions and then send them to me, then hopefully I can, he can either direct you and answer you directly or say that this is something that needs to be addressed in public meeting so everybody gets the answer, so everybody gets to All right, so don't mean to scare you with policy and procedure, but laissez-faire isn't necessarily the way that we want to be going, so we're just going to kind of reel it in. We used to have a class that when you were first brought on board, you went to a class and learned about all this. And I don't think that's how it played on it's on the video. So there, oh, that's a good point. There is a, there is a video version for COVID, and then it actually included um, an, another component, which is the equity piece um, and board diversification that the city clerk's office is working on. I'm happy to pass that along to you um, in case you're having trouble sleeping or something. <laughs> <laughs> totally put it on and see how it goes, or take it in chunks. That would be, but at, at the very least, um, it gives you a semblance of the. Um, I will reset that link. Thank you. Jennifer. Yes. Well, I have a comment. Which yes. Is, the reason, in my, my opinion and experience, the reason why Robert's rules and the problem procedure was invented is so that everyone can be fairly heard and that people can communicate in you know, a nice way. A nice way. Right? There's a structure for it. So that's. That's the reason behind this. It's not to control anyone. It's not to make anything more difficult. It's not to keep us from being friendly with you. No, it's none of that. It's really for fairness and for civility. Yeah. And it's actually, believe it or not, in the very front of it, okay. it has the guy with the wig and it says, Parliamentary procedure we started in 18. Yeah. So, but that's exactly it. So we almost were powered wigs. And then you're powered with the covered wig. Right. 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 So um, as a 
families that we met last night, the selection panel and sister cities, um, and everybody after we went through all of the discussion was in agreement of what we, our decision were to move forward, so there was no um, discourse in um, opinions and, and it went fairly smoothly. Um, so we will be bringing after we give this information to the artists on modifications, how that will impact their costs. Our costs are not changing, so they can say yay, nay, or whatever. Um, and we will bring information to you at the September 15th meeting. With a recommendation. With a recommendation of what we're going to do. Because we put deadlines on all of the stuff we were doing to the artists. So they have to have everything submitted. Look at this way. You want me to talk about the modifications quickly? Yes. That we're asking? Yes. Well, does everyone know what you've got chosen? This good piece. Good. 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 Yeah. yeah, I love it. So from one side, if you will, and from the other side. Um, so basically, it is three-dimensional. This kind of outline, if you will, is this aluminum and it's clad in a uh, hand created uh, ceramic tile that is a different color. And then uh, the wings, which again, it's three-dimensional, so while this looks very flat, obviously it has depth this way. So originally, this is like 14 feet. I understand now that I think this is about 10, and then I'm, the depth is unsure. Uh, the bonification, so on one side, it's like monarch looking, and on the other side, it's very avocado, if you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Mexican cut paper uh, look. So, but each of the tiles, as I understand, would be uh, evocative of, of either the Guzman Mexico culture or Lama culture. The modifications are that because this is um, attractive for climbing as it sits now. The uh, original location is insufficient. So it would in fact move back, I think it's about 10 feet, I was just out there before we got here, that's why you don't have proper tools, uh, into that pollinator bed. The pollinator bed is about 56 wide by 20 at its, at its um, greatest distance across. But the sculpture will have to be at the very least seven and a half feet up. Um, and then uh, without anything for entrapment. So, no way for somebody to get stuck or hung up by any way. Um, and it can't extend, it can't have any flange that extends below that seven and a half feet. It's going to have to be quite, quite a ways up in the air. And then, um, the dimension of the piece itself at 14 feet will not be permitted. It will be smaller, so about like four and five feet. So mm -hmm. the piece itself will be quite a bit smaller. Um, although the artist uh, is permitted to adorn, if you will, the, the column plinth or caisson, however the artist decides to come up with a solution to that problem. Um, all of the structure and material, all dimensionality, um, weight, all of those kinds of specs. Not a stamp structural drawing, but pretty much all elements that will be needed for a stamp structural drawing will be required by the deadline for this project to move forward. Does that, anybody have any questions about what we're asking the artist? And he has received information today. Um, he asked for some more dimensions and that's where I was. Right before I um, Okay, and then if for some reason the uh, that doesn't go forward, um, that can't move forward, then we will move to our alternate. And of course, do I have to go down to the line? Uh, so then. 
our alternate also has some augmenting to do, albeit far, far less um, structurally, etc., etc., than the original. So this is the butterfly pavilion uh, that uh, Jody Bliss had presented. Uh, it's a uh, plasma cut aluminum, and it's a, a gazebo type uh, piece. Did we look at this last yeah. time? Oh, we did not because it, this meeting hadn't happened, right? right? Okay, so this is the first time we've seen this. Uh, okay, so it's a, approximately 10 feet wide. It um, is enclosed, although the selection panel has asked that it in fact be open on full size. Uh, so that's about the amount of seating that it would, would take. Oops, oops, oops. Um, that's from above. There's a, a gazing wall, and then there's hand forged butterflies made from the pieces that drop out when the, the plasma cut aluminum. I think it's aluminum, not steel. I can't call it now, but um, needless to say, uh, so it's it's got negative and positive butterflies that will be um, added, and then it's um, powder coated for this blue color, and then each of these little petal pieces will be um, negative space, I guess, if you will. And then there's an uh, image of the gazing wall that would be along the top. So this is the alternate if uh, the, the first design uh, does not go through, then this will be the, the second design. Jody has not been contacted, but I will be calling her in the morning. The change that needs to be made um, or rather the design elements, um, structural elements that need to be clarified is that um, from ground to ability to grab also needs to be that seven and a half feet tall. So as to prevent somebody from basically doing a monkey bar kind of situation. And if there were buttresses, like where the diagonal elements are, um, those have to be adhered up so basically somebody could get their fingers in Around. So, in essence, making sure that whichever way we go, we're not creating an attractive climbing situation. It's actually sculpture or site specific. Yes. Yeah. And just to add so that people understand, this one would stay in the original um, yes. position of Flanders Park um, where we had wanted them to go. Um, it's just that the first one would have to be moved because of the um, length that would be needed to have um, for this management. Right. But that one would be right there as we had seen it. So, um, and we, our couple of places, have already discussed and voted on and approved the um, concrete from both sides because, of course, this is will have a round situation. So we'll pour concrete to come to the base platform, if you will, of, of, of the Zebo. So it's ADA compliant. Yeah, it's for, for the entryways, mm -hmm. for both entryways. Yep. So that's where we are. The goal is, like Susan said, uh, to have all of the information in hand in the early September. It goes back through the internal review committee as per our public places guidelines. And then once all of those folks sign off, which is basically procurement, risk management, city attorney's office, and parks department, as soon as they say yep, 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 on all of the details, then we'll move forward. So by, so hopefully by this meeting next month, we have a fleshed out project for you that's been blessed by all that be, and then the recommendation will come forward for you to approve. It's such a similar to, to last month's panel. Sweet. Yeah. So we have a meeting to approach the meetings. Not today. Okay. So just get to the language. Do we have questions though? Thank you. Project. This is totally with the paper files. It's um, artist is under or is going under contract, so he signed our contract. Yep. So um, it is on its way to the mayor. Did you talk about it in the last meeting that I was asking? 
Oh, yeah, we looked at it. Does anybody want to look at it for a moment? No, but just uh, Angela did get the composition changed so that the birds are kind of facing each other, which I thought was a pretty good idea. Yeah, so it was a little bit more. Yeah, so I, I think it'll be more inclusive, more eye catching if you know the birds aren't all just going south. He didn't. He didn't even recognize no. they were all going south. Yeah, <laughs> which is brilliant. But that's great. It was a great idea. So. And he's adding more hummingbirds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh -huh. Yep. Well, that's all up. Yeah, fun, fun social media. Yeah. Okay, um, shop art. All right, I hope you guys got your, your work out for you. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, So, 
Here it is. That is going to also go on Florida Basin um, further west of Coles from here, that uh, St. Rain uh, building. And what's really cool is that there's a power thing, transformer yard, whatever that's right near there. So, and the artist did say that she will change it so the the windy things are three, not yeah. four, because that's incorrect. But uh, did you did you give our locations to powers? Okay. Because this one we wanted in the right it was on the box that they hadn't prepared yet. Yeah. Right. We wanted a little bit farther. And I, I did write like all of them and you did choose the right one. The one yes. that's blind already is a it's like next year we can put one there, but it's yeah. it's sort of shaded by trees, and you can really only see one side as you drive by. And yeah, it's not. A it needs to be a specific design for that because really it's not for views of anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We actually as a shopper, we need to get back together because this as soon as we voted, like I had to move about other things, so I need to I need a refresh. But anyway, so there's a power box. Oh. Oh, no, I like <laughs> so this one's a little special. You want to point or? No, you go ahead. So um, we have a person who works for the city of Longhorn who does a lot of training and whatnot. So and she used to be on this committee. Yeah, she was on our final commission. I forgot her name. She's Julie Stone. Stone. Julie Stone. She's a great person. She was our treasurer. She's going to use this box as an SOP for shop art. And the SOP is basically a how to, you know, all the process and procedures, which she writes, that's what she does, mm -hmm. um, of going through shop art. So this box will be painted according to the processes and procedures. That's how she's going to document it. And, you know, I'm sorry, video? Well, yeah, so the only way, because of the city charter, it is actually against the city. Uh, law for a um, staff person to be a vendor for the city as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so I spoke with the city attorney's office and said, how is it that we can push this through? And she said, well, he said, well, it has to fit within their scope of work. And so I was like, well, I got more phone calls of, do you provide a box? How do I paint it? What is the size? I said, oh my gracious. So Julie's gonna write the SOP She'll get the piece in the collection. We'll use our LPM, hopefully, on the wood contract that the city has to basically make a training video, and then we'll upload it to our website. And when people say, how do I make a box? It's, here you go, here's Julie teaching you how to make a scale box. Here's Julie teaching you how to do a scale drawing, how to scale, you know, all of these things. So, what? win, win, win. Yeah, that's what we have Seventeenth and Collier. Yeah. Oh wow. Wonderful. Hello. And I need to say, the mushrooms is actually going to be on Homer across from the precinct auditorium. Oh, okay. Yeah. I drive there all the time. The Coles <laughs> The seventeenth and Collier. I thought. Are you sure? That's what it says here. That's my scribble. Oh, sorry. Downtown Chicken South. Right, we wanted it on the show, so, yeah. South of Yeah, because 17th and Collier, we thought was not an appropriate size, but it's That's appropriate size because we don't have a box there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we, we have, didn't choose that box. Right. Sorry, you're right. South of Third. Okay, this is delicious and nutritious. This is awesome, too. This is going by Mount View and Lashley. It's oh, yeah, it's by the it's right on the school. Yeah, not 100% sure. It's, it's very near the high school. Yeah, yeah, it's down the street from the high school in front of the, the middle, middle, middle school, school that's on yeah. uh, Centennial Park. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no cheese. All the releases. She big cheese. It's on Mount View and Homer. <laughs> so, so okay, this is a tribute to Vance Brand. This is going on Randy Meadows Drive and over the basin, which is by uh, Silver Creek, Altona, oh, okay. Old Crest, Target Park. Yep. Here's 
flowers that are being rescued. Poor Lance. Spring meadows. Spring meadows. It looks like a deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spring meadows is going with 17. Francis and Bob. Between Francis and Bob. Oh. That's the one that has no room in the back. Yeah, right, there's a wall. It's fine, we're going to get side. Maybe not, maybe not that one. Maybe that one. Yes. Yes. And, and do we need to talk about this? We do. We'll, we'll bring that back up in a minute. So this is the last one. Why did you? Florals and florals is the one that's hard to write. Okay, yeah. It's your name? Yeah, so the question, should we vote first or should we talk about this one first? What? Let's vote first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So those are the seven top, top seven. Well, eight with the chickens and the cow. So, so you all get to do your commissioner's choice. Which we narrow to the next five. Should we vote on the set of that? Oh, yeah, you have those already in the video. So the seven that we just saw were community folks. So, <coughs> may I have a motion to approve? I move that we accept these boxes for the 2022 shot art at the locations that we, the, the committee determined. Try, try again, you know. 
So I I like this guy's work. He wins every time. But I mean he gets in the votes every time. But they're all the same. Yeah, they are. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. and we have one downtown, one out on county county line now, and this one's gonna be on uh, 17 uh, West Main. So it's kind of it's kind of everywhere now. But I it's an attractive formula. Blue sky, flying clouds, pretty prairies. And our mission states as part of public places that our goals are to diversify the collection. Mm -hmm. And one thing we did talk about at the meeting was we brought up the thought about a theme again, so it could take away from this type of thing, but we didn't want to institute a theme where it's, it's you know, putting our stocks or putting ourselves. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was. Yeah. yeah, and if the theme is like rainbows, then suddenly one year you have 12 rainbow boxes all over town. You know, so. And, you know, I wonder if I would be as interested in, I don't know how to say this, no, in limiting, uh, like giving people a three year window, if this man's work all the same. You know what I mean? If he did something like really different, if an artist does three different boxes every year and gets, I mean, three consecutive years and gets selected every time that they're really different, would we still be having the same conversation? Yeah. We, yeah. Well, I feel like with that being said, I still feel like at least with this, though, obviously the town loves it. People really enjoy it. So I feel like it, I don't think that would be quite fair on that regard. But I think that if you, I think that going through it and being like, you can only do, you only can win three times in every five, six, or ten years or something like that, or it can be fair. So at least people can get their art out, you can recognize it. And it is kind of fun to be like, hey, I gotta know that that person's got another box on this street. I don't know, I, that's kind of what I saw it anyways. But at the same time, it can get really overwhelming too, at the same time, and not be fair to the others. So, that's just my opinion. And how many total boxes do we have submitted? Were they all looked at by public, or do we need some out? Nope. All of them were looked at by public, 35 were submitted, and the collection is 50. No, it's more than that. 60. <laughs> <laughs> Six or 70, yeah. Yeah, we yeah we're almost to 70. Because we had three that were the commission. Is there any? Yeah, it's in the mid 60s now. Yeah. So it, is there any way to maybe talk to the artists and say, hey, like, you have three that are identical? Or I mean, could you, like, have a bird? I don't know. Do something. I think we need to be equitable, right? So, whatever we do needs to be the same for everyone, and art is so subjective. Uh, like, how do we do that? What we could do that could be equitable is winners this year have to take a year off. And then they come back, you can get another opportunity, and take a year off. I think that's the that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. super fair. Yeah. And this yeah. has a new policy for the next year. Because yeah. we want two thousand dollars per box, which is far more than anyone doing this program anywhere else. Right. And it's not like we can't go to other towns and do it. Right. Well, especially because as we've seen this program is obviously grown year to year and there's way more people and especially as more kids and whatnot also figure out that they can do this too. And it's just like, to be fair across the board, I think that's the best solution is you want money that you can, I love that person. You're on your own, so yeah. right. Here is one more point that is really important for this conversation. In November, um, uh, City Council is putting on the ballot what's called a house, uh, housekeeping bill, and I'm gonna watch this. So you should just look into it for yourself. But in the Angela way of thinking about things, there are a number of um, uh, pieces of legend uh, of the city charter which hang up or be done, and one of them we have talked about, which is the IGA. Yes. Every time we want to work with a school, we have to get an intergovernmental agreement, which has to be signed by the mayor and approved by city council. So we we have so many schools that come to us who want to do this. 
and change because it takes forever to get through that process, they're about to slash it. So that a little growth that and again I'm gonna botch it, but like a way that you're working with an inter a governmental a, agreement and it's under a certain amount of dollars and liability is just Harold is going to put a designee on it, so like him, and he's going to say, any shop art going forward that you want to work with a school, all that has to happen is your board approves, and Kim approves, and I, Harold, say five thumbs up. And so that means that this program, come next year, opens up for schools. So that, so this would be, so my point is, it's a good time to make cognizant changes in mm -hmm. So, however you want to move forward, but to change this program as it sits now before next year does need a vote. Yes. And also, if you did want to implement any sort of theme, you don't have to do that now, but it would make sense. Okay, so, so I would make a motion that we um, exclude any winners from this year for the following year going forward. Okay, so if anybody won in 2022, they cannot win. Or so words of broadness to say if you win in a particular year, you must take a year off before right. you can survey a box. Okay? Make it more general. Well, and make the first part of the second yeah. part of this example. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So year on, year off, go forward, yeah. starting it. Okay. Right. Second. Second. All in favor? Anyone opposed? So it's a new law that they do. Right now, the funds up. Now it's more funds. Okay. Commissioner's choice. Ready for your options? Yeah. There are five. There are five. Here we go. Option number one goose parade. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they've already picked up their boxes, so sorry. I can't go back. Number two. Layers. <laughs> Number three, the beatbox. <laughs> Number four, they're here. <laughs> and number five, I think we just call it eyes. And he did say, this is the front. Apparently that I study is like super famous in our industry, so technically this is the front. And then this is I. So can we make some comments? Yeah, yeah. Should we start at the beginning? Yeah. Okay. Who's great? I love all of these. Well, it's not like she was one. Yeah, I love all I I like this one, um, but since we have this one, that's our yeah. Big statement piece. I don't know. Goose one. Goose one. Yeah, goose one. I think we should honor these because they are such a part of our landscape. And uh, I don't know about you, but I've seen them all the time. And I, 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 so I love this one. I like they're all wearing different hats. It's cute. Uh -huh. and, uh, it's a little out of focus, isn't it? it? Yeah. How many do we get to choose? Why? Okay. So the beat box I love. Yeah. Because that's for the same reason. Um, um, so these are both representative of Longwood since we were a beat farming community. <laughs> this is, this has cute sayings, but I can't read them on this. The beat the flaw. Feel the beat from the beat draw. Yeah. But since we have the beat the beat around. Mm -hmm. The um sugar beet yeah. mill, there's yeah. so many sugar beet. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, represents all of them. So we are going to have a piece We know where the box is going to go with the commissioner. Should yes, we do. Oh, oh, yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, South Sunset and Left Hand Brewery. So near the brewery? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's at South Sunset and Left Hand. That's right by Astro Blues. That's yeah. right by Astro Blues. Yeah. Blues. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> yeah. okay, so we talked about yeast and beets, but maybe we'll go back to this is number two layers. I like this. I'm 
unsure if she can, she or he, I'm not sure, can replicate the shadow on the box. Make the layers pop out for everything. Oh, I think she can. Yeah, if it can airbrush, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, airbrush is not a lot. Anybody who doesn't know about this program, it's not a lot. Ooh, ooh, there's all. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. 
Pamela. No, I put the last one. She was <laughs> this time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and this is the Kylie. Okay, I forgot to name that earlier. Oh, so you're not saying name? the Facebook? Yes. yes. Yeah. And the selection kind of shows. Shells to the acrylic paint. 
So the little pizza is the same thing, it does it. So this is great because if we can figure out this process, we'll be able to share it with our community people because no one, no public art program has been able to figure out how to successfully do ground murals that hold up to UV and snow, but also then we'll test it on asphalt for mag and snow removal and see if it scratches and comes up. It might, it might not. Mm -hmm. Cool. So in the course when it's all done, we whoever wants to join mm -hmm. and we can meet you. Mm -hmm. It would be fun. And she had even talked about since we asked about subtracting some of these images, then putting them around, and then we'll do like a seek and find. So you can oh, like click right. the QR code, and it's there's nine kites, go find them. Right. There's you know, 12 birds, I know. But also we've got a big selection panel and call it Basketball Plus. So hopefully, hopscotch is something that we had talked about four square. Hopefully with these algos. Oh, okay. Awesome. So I hope you guys are free. Labor Day weekend. Yeah, everybody yeah. come with PD clothes and ready to meet. Sure. And you'll have yeah, an email or something. Yeah, so if you can just kind of, um, well, so the artist's concern right now is getting all of the outcrop lines done with people who will actually be cognizant of not spilling paint everywhere. And I assured her. We will have all boots on the ground. So anybody who's available and isn't clumsy like me and mm -hmm. will not spill paint and can do some outlining, that will be helpful. That will likely be on that Friday, Thursday or Friday ahead of time. What is that date? First and second. September 1st and 2nd, I think. Um, and then community paint will be three through five, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And the artist's job is to break down a schedule for me. How many people does she need? What does it look like? What you know? What are the shifts? Because she's done this before, so she knows. You know, people get tired after twenty minutes, thirty minutes, one hour. You know, so she's going to tell me exactly how to break down the days, and then when she wants to have like a break in between for herself. Um, so that would be helpful. Park in public places, and this is all in the neighborhood improvement project grant. We matched the funds. So the neighborhood improvement grant funds um, the artist fee, and then Mark Public Places is taking care of the group of portalettes. We have to bring sinks. I have to talk to waste management about disposal of brush stuff kinds of things, um, and then of course administrative assistance and volunteer coordination. Falls to us and also to the people in the Coyote neighborhood. So we'll do a postcard that has a QR code for people to sign up. It will be bilingual and it will be mailed out to the community. We'll do social media next door and then have the communications department helping me with that. Um, we're working on what the messaging looks like, but the design ticket for the postcard is, is in queue. So it's going to be fast. Like people are only going to hear about it pretty quickly, but most people know if they're booked on Labor Day or not, right? Uh -huh. yeah, it's, just a, it's just a couple weeks away. Yeah, we're not going to have a meeting before that. Right, so yeah. Yeah. Do you want to raise your hand if you're going to be able to make it? Yeah. If you want it. Well, <laughs> just, just even if you'll, if you'll consider signing up. Yes. Let's do it the other way. Is there anyone who knows they can't be there on Labor Day? Sweet. Yep, just sign up to volunteer and fight again. And okay. don't wear your Sunday's finest so at all. We are going to need a motion to accept the design. I move that we accept the design as um, presented here at the meeting. Yep. And then I second. And that's with the modifi with modifications, with right? Okay, so it must have to have Okay, gosh. Yeah. yeah. For this site? For the postcard, you send out the QR codes. Is there any way to include, like, for the community, like, some kind of, if you need anything to help provide assistance? Like, I'm imagining a child in a wheelchair or something like that, where they might need a modification. To be able Good to question. Um, 
Yes. Can you help me with what that language, how to say that so it is perceived sensitively? Absolutely. Let's talk offline. If he 
were partnering or collaborating with another artist, and that was the messaging, that, that is different than this, and we're already under contract with this person. Mm -hmm. So I asked him if he could subcontract, and that's like on him, um, and I think that there was someone he was going to reach out to. To be fair, that was quite a bit long time ago. I can absolutely re-ask. I can't promise that that was no. a that's just that, and that's just how you yeah. establish a new neighborhood. The school, the school kids that use our libraries. If you want to kibosh this, well, you go on it's ahead. A great design. Like, it's a great design. It just is. Okay. When is this? This voted on. I'm just curious. Before I do, which is, yeah, this is a mass voting question. Right before the vote. Yeah. No, 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 not 2019. It was well then. No, it was because it was before I was in the grad school and I had to go to Yeah, right, right before COVID. It was maybe like January. I could probably go back to the time. But it was. I was curious. Yeah, I was making sure that this is. Because now. then it was supposed to be painted and we weren't meeting in person, nothing was happening, and getting a community paint together in an underpass was absolutely never <laughs> going to happen. Um, yeah, it's, it, this has been, it's been a fair. And then, of course, since then, <coughs> it continued to get tagged. And then also, at the same time, um, the city's graffiti specialist um, had to leave the city, and there was a very significant amount of time where there was no one. So it got really bad, which is why we're here kind of today is, now it's the entire length, whereas once upon a time it was just a portion. So on this contract, he was just agreeing with this portion of it. So the rest of it is just going to be left completely empty at this point, whereas he's going to continue this. He's agreeable to working in situ with the community to paint it okay. with the contract as it is. <laughs> Probably it was like leaf form and something organic. Because if you've seen, um, so this is a bit of what went on down here, right? It was these like rolling hills and these little mountain things. And so I imagine, you know, as he blocks it, because it's community paint, whereas he's saving his money is on the labor, right? So his funding goes for his time and the blocking and the facilitating, right? Um, this is a blended aerosol, as is the elk that's on the other side. Do you want me to show you that? Okay. I can dig and find it. Um, there won't be any of the elk, because that's completely, completely different rocks. Um, this whole project is, you know, it's a real trick because uh, it was initially painted in 2018 and wasn't covered in graffiti snow. And so as, um, so let's see, my predecessor, when did she leave? Early 2019? I think that's right. She left early, early 2019. I came on board fall of 2019, met all of you all. We had grand plans and then COVID. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, since that time, then it's just kind of been this, it never really got tied up, I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's a subtractive product. 
So without getting too deep into this, imagine your surface, then imagine a primer, then imagine your mural. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, back up, back up. Surf, surface, surface, first layer of shield, primer, mural, sealant. Then when something bad happens, you remove the sealant, you fix the mural, you put the sealant back on. You can do that as many times as you want. Remove the sealant, go back up. Trouble with it, um, the layers are similar to like, what would you say, like a wax, it's like a wax. Um, and so when you get rustoleum and you just like hose that sticker down, it doesn't function as well. What Denver and most of the urban um, graffiti folks use is something that is not subtractive, it is, it's, it's permanent. And so you have surface, you clean that surface up really well, you have primer, you have mural, you have sealant, you get spray paint on it, you go in with power washer, you blast it and nothing bad, well nothing is relative, bad happens to your mural, you want to get the mural off, you have to sandblast it off. It's on there. So it's two ways of going. Um, when this project originally happened and started, we were like, we need to take care of our murals going forward. Um, we spoke with the people at Urban Arts Fund down in Denver, and they said, hands down, do the permit. Yeah. If you're investing. He does a lot of work downtown, so he's got to have this yeah. problem. And, those kind of guys problem. and so whoever is on the mural, mural committee, um, that was one of the things that came up in the three finalists that we talked about. Two of them are using the permanent solution. It's better rated in UV as well as graffiti. And then one was using some other bad varnish that I'm actually not very familiar with. And we are going with the permanent solution. So um, I think that's the way we should go once this is done. And that is a part of his budget. Yeah. Is that gone? No, this is this is covered in the subtractive. So once we're done with this mural, we'll remove the layers and then we'll put the permanent on top. Okay. But it's still attached. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because it's really not nice. Yeah. So if you go down there this part if you go down there, this part is in pretty good shape. The elk is in pretty good shape and the duck is in pretty good shape. It's yeah, it's pretty good shape, and that part right there. But this is an underpass that goes under uh, 9th Street um, at approximately Alpine. It goes from the um, the ditch, you know, the oligarchy ditch. On, you're on one side of the oligarchy ditch, and then when you come out of the tunnel, you're on the other side of Alpine. Yeah, uh, on the other side of 9th at Alpine, approximately. So it is nice, it's a great thing for the kids to cross, because a lot of kids do walk that way when the school is near Centennial and all that. And uh, people do walk along like me with the dogs around the old garden ditch. And um, it has been a mess. It has been a mess for a really long time. I saw the artist put it up, I've seen it deteriorate quite a bit of time. Um, I feel like I know this has been dragging on, and it breaks my heart to say this in, in a way, but I don't think we should do it without doing the Spanish. I don't think, I think we will run into a lot of criticism that I do not want for public art in the long run. Okay. Yeah, I'm pointing at Randy because Randy, yeah. I'll be good. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my god. Um, I agree. Um, you know, we've made such an effort with the Guzman Sister Cities project, and it's so well thought out in that it really marries two cultures, and there's a lot of Spanish that will be included in the styles. That in that particular neighborhood, the Alpine. Oh my gosh, it's so heavily yes. Spanish. It is so heavily Spanish. It's very And um, so you know, it kind of breaks my heart, too. Because those kids in, in the schools there are 
help be translators and bill payers and everything for their families whose mom and dads cannot speak in the English. You know, so that they are to be so admired, and I think it's kind of a slap, not to. Yeah. Oh, that uh, these have to go exactly off of what you're saying completely. It's a free, all that added space, and then to genuinely have a statement like walk on together and then since we have been working on this project for so long that I feel like it, again it's just I feel like completely contradicting to what that actually is messaging and especially since we have all that added space and yeah because I was really around I've been in 2021 and I was just like thinking about this I'm like this is a long time coming like my ears are pointed but so okay so formally to go forward then knowing that October 5 through 12, we could actually get this done. Um, you're going to have to make, you have, we'll have to make decisions today that give me opportunities. Just one second. What I would suggest then, um, thinking about this way that it is, is um, because of the read love to write, you know, choosing Longmont together, going down one side, and then and I will look up exactly what um, it does. What's her name? It's it's yeah. it does. Um, she just left. She's still part of the um, Walmart um, Chamber of Commerce and Education for the Farmers. I was really good. I don't know what she left to say. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll find her contact information. Anyway, and then um, have the Spanish translation for Facebook. Yeah, up the other side. Um, but um, Tell me which one goes on which side. Does it matter? Or does it do this mirror business where it's long month together, long month together? Yes. No. Well, that's that's what I, I, said. Yeah, I kind of like that because long lines are walking one way and then long lines are walking the other way. The long lines first, so it can be both long months. That's not what. See, this is where it's really tricky, right? No, I mean, that's not what she suggested at all. And this was a this was a pretty large conversation yeah. to the point where the artist felt uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, uh, because he he's gonna want he's gonna want a partner, but we can't. There's no way we have enough time to get under contract with somebody else. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Okay. Um, give me a second. Why don't we talk about gathering enough people and table this for just a minute and see what I can find? Is that right? Yes. So we met Wednesday morning, yesterday morning, with the first department city engineer and contractor, the uh, selection committee, well, the selection committee, not selection. The task force and Angela, and we all went out there to Isaac and looked at the artwork. We discussed what the artwork entails. The uh, are we all familiar with the gathering of people? Yeah, it's got the, the platform you stand on and the, the mobile buildings. Um, and <coughs> sorry, the artwork entails why it has to move because the, the Army Corps of Engineers is going to go there. <laughs> we walked out to the location on the peninsula where we want to put it. Everybody was in agreement that was a good spot, that it could be done. The, um, <clears throat> the engineers talked and the contractor talked about putting power out there because it needs power and how that would come and how big the vault was that needs to be rebuilt and what could be salvaged if anything from the existing vault. Much discussion. Um, they gave us a completely ballpark, very open, just an estimate, maybe price. They haven't given us a quote yet, I don't think, um, of fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars to move this, which is not surprising yeah. when you see everything that has to go. Yeah. They have to put in a cement vault, they have to put in a new hydraulic thing, they have to put in new decking, they have to put a, a railing around it, they have to move the giant mobile and wire it up to the hydraulic and pull electricity from the clubhouse and so it's a big huge thing it's going to be a big huge thing we are um, 
waiting for a real post. Yeah. If this guy comes in, this is a, uh, did you say citywide contractor? Yeah, citywide, it's a citywide board. So if, if he comes in with a reasonable bid, which kind of falls in this price range, um, we can accept it without asking for other bids from other contractors because this guy's already approved by the city. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where we're standing. We're waiting for a quote to see what, and he, they thought it was totally doable. Yeah. Um, and we discussed when we would bring in the artists to talk about, you know, just like this thing and the new vault and everything. It sounded very encouraging to me. And this was the price that I was kind of expecting to move this whole thing. I thought it was going to be more than that. Yeah. Where is so, it again? It's at Isaac Walton. It's just going to move over the They're just going to move. We're going to move it out to the peninsula there. So that you can see it from the bike path. But it will be on the bike path. Right. We're going to be able to visualize it a lot better than it is now because there's trees around it. Yeah. And we don't know uh, when the City Corps of Engineers is going to do this, but they can call up and say, OK, we're going to be there on Tuesday. You know, so I, we have no idea no. when they're going to. We do know that because um, it's engineer person stuff, okay. that it now is more of a dam than it is a levee, and that actually means something in the world of flood mitigation. Uh, so they're going through the steps, and they said January. They're starting their process. That doesn't mean construction destruction, demolition starts, but action happens, which includes taking out anything that's in their way, yeah. including out this park. And well, the good news is that if we build a new vault and get the thing on loop, our park engineers will take out the old one and we don't have to know. The same <laughs> thing. Oh, and also we talked about the sidewalk from the sidewalk out to the thing, the ADA and everything. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it, they sounded like it could be done without, I mean, I don't want to say too much hassle because it's hassle with all the electricity and everything, but they didn't say, oh, no, 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 no. What year was the person sold? 99. How much was it? Ooh. Mm -hmm. 1,500. I don't. Wow. That's that's really that's 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 really This is actually under water. Or, or is it, no, maybe it's not under water. Maybe it's just the edge. It's on the edge of the water. The water comes up right here. Oh, the water's so much um, And we actually looked inside the vault, and the, there, it's not just completely filled up with mud and dead animals like we thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it was ready. I like tapped my hands, like right here. Like, no, no. It was there. Like, was, was, yeah, it was there. I mean, the stuff was there, it just there was, it was not much. Oh, um, so, um, and then does truly have to be involved? I mean, did we have to, did you guys have to talk to him about the process? And that's what right. happens there. Yeah, so that's a really good question. So before we met with the citywide contractor, um, I met with the city attorney's office and the procurement uh, department to review what his contract says. And so his contract says, for, for moving for city purposes, we can move anything at any time. Uh, but of course, related to design changes and things like that, it's preferable that we talk to them first. So we're going to bring the reality of this situation to the artist, which is it has to move. It can't be on this path anymore. He can say, I'm really upset that it's not on this portion of the path. And the truth is, it can't be. So we're going to come up with the best possible solution that's off of the causeway on the, I guess you would say the north north kind of west east side and once we have all of the project requirements everything that absolutely has to happen and knowing what we can salvage which probably will not be we thought about the railing we thought about some of the things to salvage it and what uh, the engineering department and the parks department said is since we're leaving the old piece it still has to be saved so the contractor is going to see about recreating the railing and stuff, but at that point, since this is not a necessity to move forward, that's when we'll bring in the artist and say, these are the things that are required, these are the things that we're outsourcing to recreate this artwork, here are the options as you can participate.
participate, add to the project, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we want to have the scope of work for the construction aspect of it pretty well locked down, and then if you will, kind of like an all a cart menu of some of the other things that they could do. If Tully wants to be involved and do that, by all means, and we'll subcontract him, or even I don't know if we would subcontract him, or if the construction company would subcontract him, probably yes, um, to do this amount of work. But we just need to know like what those two scopes are. So, yeah. so, what are the next steps? Wait, we were waiting for a bit, and then we'll see. And if I, if you do want me to get a comparable. If you need me to get something comparable, I can't from other city wide. But the goal is to not have to pull an RFQ and basically go to bid with others. It's, yeah. it's yeah. also it's a fairly specific where on the peninsula it needs to be because there are the power lines that go over, so it can't be too close to the if anybody's familiar with the kinds of wall, it can't be too close to the circle part at the end, it has to be like halfway down. And there's a bench right there, so that would be nice to mm -hmm. have a bench right there. But, yeah. so. It's within what the, it's within the easement. Yeah. So the power company has an easement. Yeah. So you have to mm -hmm. it. Are you working? I will find out how much. How much gallery? Yeah. Uh, if you want to go backwards, I'm prepared. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there yeah, so the verbiage. Uh, you want Nino? Mm -hmm. Nino? That's you. Yes. 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 So, um, Longmont and I uh, together for Longmont, and all of us together in Longmont. Yep. I, I had thought that we would make the together smaller and put the Nino underneath so that they were. Stack, but I like her idea of yeah. Longmont together and Longmont and Nito because then if you're standing right here, you don't go in the tunnel, it says Longmont and Nito, but if you're walking down the tunnel, you can still sit and see Longmont together. It's completely up to you, and I think because of where we are in this path, if you put forth a suggestion with the availability of, I um, mean, task force right here and now because I think it was Noah. I can't remember. I have to go back and look. But we just created a new task force and give the task force our launch to make the decision. Including if the artist says no, and then if that is the case, then we cancel the project and go and look at what it will take to go forward. Oh, um, we could we can either make an amendment and extend the project. Um, I would bring it back at that time, I think. Uh, but if we can, if, if it's to move forward, the Spanish needs to be included. If this is how we want it to look, the motion could say that giving the task force, um, you know, right to formalize decisions. We have to. We have to vote on it today. Okay, so, yes. so like, if I were to make a motion that we do Lama together on the left hand side, which would be going from to the west to east, roughly, and on the other side, we would be going the other direction. So, we, so Lama would be like that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and together, Lido would be like that. Mm -hmm. So if I make that motion and we vote on it, can we just ask the artists? Yep. Are they willing to do that? If you would first, before putting forth the motion, decide on a quick little task force. I'm oh, sorry, Betty. Um, I just wondered if, if they're the same length walls. Just one long they long. are, okay. which is going to be that's going to be the design challenge that the artist and the task force are going to be charged with. It's, it's, yeah, it's spacing and just all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the, the, the words will not go all the way through the tunnel. It is a long bump. Yeah. 
I mean, I mean, uh, um, what is that? Ninth is like four or five. I think it's two hundred and uh, yeah, it's two hundred and fifty. Linear feet, not straight across the street. Yeah, it, it was diagonal. So, so maybe we should hold on. Laura had her hand up. Yeah, Laura. I just I know it's semantic, but I think it's important for the word to be the same because I mean, long on together is different than long on united. I think if we're putting something in Spanish and stand into the English, that could create uh, an idea in someone's mind that we're different or we don't get the same language. I don't know. So this is exactly what the artist is very concerned about is that there needs to be a an authoritative figure who is not just I, I speak Spanish, right? right? Or I took Spanish classes. Like in fact, someone who is within our community who is ingrained in our community, who put forth the recommendation, which is what this is. So I can go back and say kind of like the essence of what the questions were to get to this, but the artist, I think that that's where we need to give the artist um, the ability to work with this person of what that translation that they feel can comfortable doing because it's completely possible that the artist yet again says, no, no, like I don't speak Spanish, this isn't my culture, I need to be working with somebody to put this this artwork forward that has my name on it, right? Um, I would suggest we get him and, and you know, call Gamma up and say, hey Gamma, either you or do you know someone and put that together. What we can't do in this amount of time is go under contract does that make sense? Okay. But that's a really very, very good so, and valid point. I think that that's kind of where we're having trouble, right? So are you saying that, that the current artist is under contract, we could amend the contract with him, but but now yeah. could be a subcontractor to him? To him if he subcontracts with him. Yeah, yeah. okay. Good. That, 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 that's what I thought you were saying. Okay. So this motion, right, is going to have to leave some pretty serious open ends on both sides. Who, who would be interested in the task force? We need two people. And the best. Oh, yeah, there's two for the Wait, 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 wait. Um, what, what if we had the school that's closest by the kids that are just over one of these We don't have yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. That. We would need an IGA. Yeah, like, we can't. We can't involve the school. Oh, that's that's not work without the program. But maybe they should. Oh, we couldn't do anything online and just say vote oh, for your like we did with the check box. Well, but we don't know who they are. It's it a is school issue. This is the no, 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 not with the school, but just publicly. We don't have time. Yeah. So, 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 Shopper is a very strategic, very um, calculated way of taking votes and actually applying them to make a decision. What we did for the mural art was ask for feedback. Mm -hmm. That is completely possible. But when people feel like their feedback is a vote, those are two very separate things. This is a design decision from an artist mm -hmm. that is, um, and it's stiff, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make sure that we're empowering the artists that we already have under contract with a, a design that we've already voted on and approved, and also making some changes, and also staying on time on it, or not. Or saying, if, if we can't make these design decisions within this timeline, we need to extend the time. Then we have a blue underpass until the spring at the very earliest, let's say May, because adhesion for paint has to have a certain amount of it can't be freezing, yeah, right? Temperature right. Very important, yes. So, you know, however this motion or, or the way that you decide to move forward needs to lend itself to have enough outs over the next month or ins, I guess. So we either can find a path forward through the with the selection panel and get there so we can publicize the community paint or we come back in September and say we have to wait until next year. This is no little thing. No. This 
is no thing to do something. Uh, something that of this length. My recommendation is to table it and wait and to wait until the spring. Well, the thing is, you have to understand that a lot of the artists might not be available uh -huh. in the spring. I mean, we have to wait a hard time until he was available. The artist may cancel a contract. Yes, at that point, yeah. I'm going to say. It. I mean, we're, we have, we have dates planned for this, so. But that's not, with, and that's okay. Yeah. yeah. I think we should at least try. Yeah. We should try the task force. Get, get a motion in their meetings that they know where to go and try. Mm -hmm. Angela, uh, the, the, for the most part, it looks like all the letters are, there's only like leaves over the ends. So would it be possible, like most of it is all behind the letter, you see what I'm saying? Like the, mm -hmm. the cloud and all that, right? If, if you said, if you say, this is what we'd like to do, this artist, and we have a task force that will return what we say on the other side of the wall. And, and if you say no, then we would just ask that you leave this much space blank. You know, put the background there, but we'll do the four words. Is that an option? Yeah. No. And he's the, I don't know if you yeah. appreciate yeah. Yeah. somebody else's yeah. 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 is. I appreciate it. You know, he's got, like she said, he's got his name on it. Mm -hmm. And then we. Modify task force, you can ask them, but. Right, Clay, oh, how do we go about this motion? Can I make a motion to the. Yeah, I can, can I make a motion to ask the artist to change the wording on the mural um, with. I don't know how to do this. To be inclusive, to, um, to add. Um, in Spanish, uh, what would be together in our appropriate translation? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. yes. A locally appropriate translation? Locally appropriate translation um, for the for the underpass. God, this is a tough one too. I'm like, of course, I want to decide to actually go for it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, as determined by a local task force. So he's not trying to determine yeah. it. The task force is determining yeah. the words. So that's approved by <laughs> that's approved by the task force. Yeah. 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 One modification you might say if you have the three options up there, Angela, you might say it will be no more than X number of letters. Oh, so he wow. has a guidance of, of a I don't I think that it's just the space. Yeah. I think he'll be able to I think he should, yeah, I think that's a tough one, especially trying to because we know if it says one month together on one side and one month, I don't know how to pronounce it, we may end up together. It doesn't matter if they match up in the No, no, no. I think it's our space. It's that it's, 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 it's extra work if you're doing two yeah. sentences yeah. and you're reading it over a paragraph, that's extra work than doing two words. Yeah. Right? So yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. Like, we should bound it to two or three words. Yeah. Because he might go, but I'm not sure you bound it to the paragraph in Spanish. Right. Yeah, I, I have to block out. No, yeah, I agree. I agree 100. No more than ten. the original ten. Yeah, exactly. One united or one together. On one, and then yeah, and then yeah, to be determined by the one one um, AFB task force, and we um, may well ideally start in October, and may have to push back until May. That's right. 2023. Uh, I'm happy to say that. <laughs> 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 well, we don't even know. I know. Oh, I'm so sorry. So I, so I, I, I think I can paraphrase what you said. Well, she's going to read that. Oh, she is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're asking the artist to be inclusive uh, and the, whatever, to ask the artist to add appropriate Spanish translation of together. It was mention of maybe having the task force outside the artist third party translate. You can't do that, I don't think. You would have, have to go themselves. Yeah. You have to figure that out on them. So. Okay. So, so yeah, we can ex we can just get that. That would be on the artist. I think it's that that already. Is that right? I um, yes. So I think I have it. I think okay. we're going to. 
Neil is going to make a motion to suggest an, um, an inclusive addition period to add a Spanish locally appropriate translation that embodies the original intent of the message as approved by the Art Public Places Task Force. That is amazing. Yes. You got it. <laughs> 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 Do you want me to read your paperwork over there so I can re-motion this? Or <laughs> <good>? <laughs>
I wanted to show you that, like yeah. that's what this 30 minutes would be for. Yeah. Or, or some public art that I saw somewhere that I was like, oh my god, right? Like that's what this would be for. Yeah. All right. So I'm still up. I'm still pro. Okay. You don't need a motion. I'm just going to extend this meeting now for social science. So, 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 so basically, I'm going to come and talk to myself for half an hour and just wander, 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 wander. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the requirement for your art and public places starts at six. Okay. Meeting starts at six, but there will be open availability. And I'll have my computer, so if you guys want to share pictures of, you know, you want to see my fish, I can plug it in. Or you want to send me things at a time, I can have it so we can all, you know, show and tell, you know, stuff. Okay, great. Craft and craft half hour. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, Jennifer, you're all right. All of us. Exact team. Executive team meets in October, which means that in September um, we will go through all of the projects for 2023 that are looking like things are going to, you know, happen. I promise I will bring the list of your um, task forces so we can look at it again. Uh, and the executive team, of course, one of their charges is going to be looking at the budget and prioritizing projects, which is pretty well done. But. Um, you are. Okay. You are. We have no secretary. No. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's the need is the chair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. December 15th meeting. We'll find a time. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'll send it to you, but just know that October, preferably before. Because we need to go to Toronto. So I'll let you know when that time is. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, perfect. 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 Often cancel that meeting and do a holiday gathering, so just put it up. Okay. But not necessarily on the 15th. Correct. I mean, we have, I mean, no, we can't. We have scheduled it for to be on the night when we yeah. do meetings because okay. people already have it available on the offer calendar. Um, but anyway, so just a thought that that's the thing. She's not here. Here. Any comments? Any questions? I said one question. What about the smoke project? Are we getting some involved since our next meeting is middle of September? It all goes well with the arts. Are we going to send a volunteer list or whatever you need? Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, on when it comes to volunteering, they'll have everything barricaded off. It would probably be, be people at the bottom just black and they can try to ask or answer questions so okay. they don't bug him. Okay. He's going to be on a lift most of the time, but it is quite disruptive when people are standing at the bottom like Googling and stuff. So if you have time, just kind of be there and come check it out. Okay. Usually send a message out when it starts going. And yeah, then, yeah. I just want to make sure I get To be honest, I was kind of gone for half this month. so. Oh, totally. Well, I kind of think, I, yeah, I just really wanted to make sure that I was missing something on that. Yep, it needs, cool. needs, to, uh, needs to be signed by the mayor, and then we can start. Anyone else? Oh, I have one. Right. So I was in the Belt States thrift store the other day, and up on the wall was a goose picture from all the geese that were originally. Oh. So I took a picture of it, and I sent it to you. So we're going to do that. It's, it's, it's got some reflection because I. You know, yeah, in it because of the forest lights, but you can show everybody what they look like. I think we have one in our house, don't we? I think we should. Oh, there's uh, a okay. I'm pretty sure we do. The original yeah. poster of Goose Parade. Oh, yeah. And we have the we have the postcard book too. Okay. Yeah. So I'll I'll bring I'll try and remember. It's up on my desk. It's in my desk, so I'll try and remember what it is. Yeah, a lot of them don't exist anymore. Right. Most the majority. Of them. Most of them are just like that. Um, well, they were, they were they not paper mache, but they were fiberglass. Yeah. And then the other comment I had for you was I, just, I sent you a, an email with the snapshot of what shows up through the Google Calendar. So we talked about last time we get on the museum calendar. I don't know if that would populate any of our events, but my question was how, just the communications group, how do we get our events you know, or our calls or whatever to show up if it's appropriate on that calendar? Yeah, I don't know how about Google Calendar, but I sent them the note that we would like to be included in the museum calendar, and then generally speaking, we're interested in bolstering our 
presence. And so it's it's a public thing, is it like when we're paid to when they open the door? Yeah. If we're paid to when you're all on the like in the you know, right. out. So yep. I sent you an example of what shows up. I actually sent you that the art walk one that comes up. Right. And that hits the whole Denver metro area as well in Boulder County. So you can search by lot or the county. So just just so that lots of people would use that to find things. Just a quick um, announcement before our next meeting on September 10th at our walk, um, which will be, of course, downtown. It's my annual gig of evaluating the being the judge of the fastest winner in the fastest oh, country. Yeah. <laughs> it's real fun, so come down. I have a standard pattern. Cool. I know. Yeah, I mean, that, they didn't reach out to us for a booth this year. That's a long year. I had COVID last year, so you guys all did. Yeah, yeah, we did, right? You know, that's what we were doing in the mall. Yes, she was doing the snow. And we're supposed to close that up and install it. Isn't it this weekend? It's the 10th. The, the first off, so September 10th. Oh, I thought it was um, the I'll start. reach out to, I'll yeah. reach out to um, Firehouse and ask if they, because technically we can't buy booths, but they've always, Present. Oh, yeah. What would we do? Um, <laughs> we took two yeah, hours. I don't know. Um, who wants to be on the Art Watch Maybe Committee? I can, I can go. If we have this, I can stand it. Okay. I can't. I'm trying. Is there anybody who's interested in like spearheading Art Walk activity? Uh, Laura, awesome. Thank you. Um, do you know Eileen or, or not Eileen? I'm sorry, Eileen. No. Okay, that's fine. We will work together and we will figure that out. Okay. Glad you said something, Jennifer. What? I just assumed we were on. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so good. Well, so I have to miss everything. I'm both the MC and the judge. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yeah. Cool. We will adjourn at 7.59. Yeah. Woo!